dinosaurs into fun for us here at Pensacola. Chris Darnell, the son of Marilyn and Neil, has been driving this truck for a long time. They're from Missouri. And I know... Clears low and to our right. Mark Sorensen and Titus in the lead with Mark Novoselsky and Zeke close on his tail. Cameras at the ready because the Tigers are in for a maneuver you do not want to miss. They're going to fly straight up into the vertical. And as soon as they run out of air speed, they're going to tumble those Yak 55s across the sky. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Twin Tigers Tower of Tumbles. Well, Pensacola, judged by your round of applause, how do you like the Twin Tigers so far? That's what we'd love to hear. Our pilots, Mark Sorensen and Mark Novoselsky, both experienced aviators, having flown in some of the largest aerial events in the world. Both are pilots for Southwest Airlines and are the 2019 recipients of the coveted Bill Barber Award for Showmanship. Now, I want you to keep a very close eye to the bellies of those Tigers as they fly skyward for a very special message to all of the veterans who have served this great nation of ours. Look to the wings as we salute the men and women of our armed forces with the God Bless America Hammerhead Turnaround. How about a nice round of applause to all the veterans in attendance today who have helped preserve America's freedom. And now, cameras at the ready as the Twin Tigers present the impressive Switchblade Cross.
lyrics of Fort McHenry, the first stanza of which became our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are within the sound of my voice, I'd ask that you stop what you're doing. Stand. With a 2,500 square foot American flag, very much like the flag that flew over Fort McHenry. How about a huge round of applause for the E-Team Skydivers as they bring this flag into show center, right on target from a mile high. I will. It was 1972 in the World Aerobatic Championships that Charlie Hiller climbed up and did what everybody did, but then it got different. He hung it on the prop and backed up. The controls were reversed. Left is right, right is left, forward is back, back is forward, and he stunned the world with that maneuver called torque roll and won the World Aerobatic Championships in 1972. Super slow roll. If you can do a super slow roll, well, you can do anything well, right? The tubular seal also lacked the Now the white one that's close to us is actually modified, as were many of these airplanes after World War II, because they became suitable for use in agricultural spray aircraft. And they put more powerful motors on them. And that one with the smoke being flown by Julie Thomas has one of those 450 horsepower motors on it. They often call that the super steerman. But the rest of them, 220 horsepower motors, radial piston engines, like our cars, except no radiators. And the pistons, rather than being in a straight line for a straight six or a four or a V8 or a range missile.